Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a little bit different of a video. I'm going to be doing a voiceover because I just had my surgery. So if I have a little bit of a raspy voice, you know why. So today I wanted to share with you my classic pizza sauce recipe because I'm going to be posting a few recipes using this and I wanted to give you guys a video to revert back to every single time I used my pizza sauce. So it's really easy and absolutely delicious, of course. So what you wanna do is get a pan over medium high heat throw in a slab of butter, and then add a little bit of olive oil to that, or a lot, <laughs> like usual. And you just wanna melt that together, and the olive oil helps to prevent the butter from burning. And to that, we're gonna add some chopped up onion. I like to chop it pretty fine so that it's not big and lumpy in the sauce. And we're just gonna cook that until it's translucent, so about two to three minutes would be perfect. And to that, we're gonna add some finely minced garlic as well. You wanna just stir that in and cook it for about a minute. You want it just to be fragrant. You don't wanna brown the garlic, otherwise it will have a bitter taste. Then to that, we're gonna add some tomato paste and you can try to stir that in as best as you can. As you can see, it doesn't come together perfectly, but it will once we add the sauce. So like I said, adding the sauce in, it's just a regular tomato puree, tomato sauce, whatever you can find from a can. The better quality the tomatoes you use though, the better that the sauce is going to taste. So make sure you're not using a cheapo can, just get something good quality. And don't forget to season it with salt and pepper. And for spices, I'm gonna be using some dried thyme, some cayenne pepper, and some oregano. And then I also like to add a couple of basil leaves. And I add them in whole so that way I can take them out once I'm finished cooking with it. So give that a good stir and lower the temperature to like a medium low because you don't want it to splatter all over your nice clean kitchen. And you're going to want to simmer it for about 10 to 20 minutes. Now it really depends on how thick you like your pizza sauce. The thicker you like it, the longer you cook it. The thinner you like it, the less you cook it. And just make sure you remove the basil leaves and that is it. You have a beautiful sauce on your hands. So simple to make. You can even store this in a mason jar in your refrigerator if you don't want to use it right away and it's also perfect for a dipping sauce. I'm actually gonna be using this pizza sauce recipe in a homemade pizza roll recipe that is to die for, and I can't wait to share that with you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>